Hi guys, welcome to session three of our yoga and mindfulness. So by now you've had two sessions, so you should be just starting to get into in tune with the sessions that I'm running. They are quite simple, um, but again, I'm gonna say that the more that you put in, the more you get out of your sessions. So just to recap, we need a water bottle, we need a small space, not very much. If you have carpet, brilliant. If you do not have carpet, I would put something on the floor. Okay, so a duvet, a blanket, something soft. Even better if you have a yoga mat at home. Okay, so we're gonna get started. As normal, we're gonna start with a gentle warm up and stretching. Then we're gonna go into some yoga movements and positions. And then we're gonna end our session with some mindfulness and some deep breathing relaxation exercises. Okay, so for our warm up um, today, we're gonna start in this position, okay? Again, some of you might be really comfortable in this position and some of you, I can hear you already saying, ouch, okay, but bear with me. Really good one for posture and for balance and conditioning of your muscles to get into this position. Um, so try and sit back onto your on onto your heels, okay, and place the palms here, okay, and we're gonna reach up, we're gonna come up, and we're gonna come back down, and we're gonna come up and back down. We're gonna keep going. Some of you might be clicking and creaking, that's okay. And keep going. So you're just bringing your hands up and down towards your knees as you come down. Okay, this time we're gonna come up onto all fours. We're gonna keep our arms out, okay? And we're gonna bring our palms so that they are open. And I just want you to hold that position. Okay, we're gonna turn palms facing forwards and come in and clasp your hands together. Okay. And then you're going to come back down and reach your fist behind. And as we come up, we're going to bring our hands forward. So like a chopping motion, chop back, chop back and keep it going. And as you come up, I really want you to concentrate on your balance and your posture. And this is really nice to start warming up your arm muscles, your leg muscles, and also your core muscles. Okay, we're gonna go last two. Okay, good. Right, so we've now said hello to our arms and our legs and we're, we've woken up, okay? And we've started to really feel that pulse in our arms and legs and that tells us that we're ready now for what we're about to do. Okay, so we're now gonna come into our nice straddle position, okay? And we're going to just walk our hands as far as we can go and hold. And then you're gonna walk your hands back in towards you. And I really want you to concentrate on your breathing as you do this. So notice how I go as far as I can. And now I'm walking my hands back and my spine is elongated again. So think about your spine being really, really long and walk them back as far as you can go. Once you've reached as far as you can go, walk your hands back in. Good. And we're gonna go two more. Walk your hands out. 
far as they can go and then come back in. Okay, so you should really fe be feeling that pull and that stretch along there. Okay, now bring your feet in together. Okay, this time you're going to be leaning back to just make sure that there's nothing behind you. Okay, and you're going to bring your arms up and hold and then very slowly come back and hold and come forward and then very slowly backwards and come forward and again a very slow motion coming back as you lean back so here you're focusing on your core muscles again your legs and your arms but always coordinating what your legs are doing what your arms are doing and what your core is doing and they all work as a partnership okay so always think about your muscle groups working together to create these positions and it's all about strength and conditioning okay so we're now going to come up so we are hugging our knees to our chest okay and i just want you to concentrate on rocking back if you can okay and a gentle rock hugging your knees and again all about stability stretching and posture okay some of you will be coming back like this okay or forward but i want you just to very slowly keep your knees hugged to your chest okay and we're going to hold that position really come in tight now and we're going to hold for five four three two and one and release okay brilliant this time we're going to turn to one side so you're going to keep your hands one hand on top of the other and you're going to rotate and it's going to be quite a quick movement okay so you're going to go turn in turn in and keep going and notice how i'm not slouched i'm keeping my arms to a nice height here and i'm rotating and here we're working on our oblique muscles which are on the side of our core and also working all of our abdominal muscles really nice and we're going to go another five four three two and one okay really nice all right this time we're going to come up onto our all fours and i want you to bring your your opposite knee into your elbow so it's going to look like this and again quite challenging on your abdominals and your core muscles and you're going to keep going drawing that knee into your elbow and we're going to go 10 9 8 7 6 five, four, three, two, and one, and relax there. Okay, brilliant. The next exercise we're gonna do is a repeat from exercise two, but really good for your overall strengthening, is gonna be stirring the pot again. Okay, so a big circle forward, and keep going I'm going in an anti-clockwise direction and then I'm going to pull back and I'm going to change into a clockwise direction so again 
keeping your back as straight as you can and focusing on that body position, really important. And notice now how I've changed direction again to an anti-clockwise direction and forwards. And we're gonna keep going for one, two, change direction, three and four, and we're gonna do a last one, really, really big, and we're gonna go in a clockwise direction. So that last one, come round and over. Okay, well done. So we are now just a few minutes away from ending the session. So we're gonna end on some relaxation and some mindfulness. So I'd like you to sit up into a nice, comfortable position. Roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forwards. And I'd like you to shut your eyes and let go of everything You can clench your fists. You can just rest your palms down on, on your knees. However you feel comfortable for this last mindfulness part of the ex exercise session. So close your eyes. Never forget to keep your spine elongated. And just concentrate on being in your own thoughts. And concentrating on one thing. So either you're breathing or focusing on your own heartbeat and feel your pulse. And keep your eyes closed. concentrating on your breathing and be in your own mind and in your own thoughts. And slowly open your eyes. Okay, really well done guys today. You're now probably in a position where you could take different areas of what I've shown you with yoga and your mindfulness and do it on the weekends. It doesn't have to be midweek. You could go off, take yourself off and do for 10 minutes, okay, before bed, first thing in the morning, however you want to incorporate what I've shown you into your day. I hope you've enjoyed it and have a good day.